Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Ebony Moore in standard difficulty. Now we're doing a leadership uh, deck with Hulk, a bit of background on this deck. Uh, about a month ago, I was in a conversation on Villain Theory's Discord, and we were idly talking about how I enjoy the kind of gambling aspect of Domino with her cards. And basically, Villain Theory said, time to build a Digging Deep Hulk deck. I told him, you build it, I'll play it. And I swear if in five minutes he built me a Leadership Digging Deep Hulk deck. Um, he basically got the idea in his head that he imagined Hulk digging and a bunch of heroes standing around looking at him confused. So that's what we're going with. It's completely untested. Uh, it could be a complete disaster. It might be inspired genius. We don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so let's go through our setup. So we have Attack on Nowhere. There's nothing to set up on 1A, so we'll go straight to 1B. So threats out at six, comes in with one threat and goes up uh, one threat at the start of each villain phase. When revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell environment is discarded and puts it into play in their play area. Then shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So we'll discard till we find a spell. There's one. So we have pacification, comes in with um, Surge, but because we put into play, the surge doesn't happen. That only happens when on when revealed. It enters with three invocation counters. After the last invocation counter is removed from pacification, we discard it and exhaust each upgrade we control, and we become stunned. So we'll grab three counters. Then on Ebony Moore, he's a uh, schema two attack of one. He has fourteen hit points per player and a forced interrupt. When Abony Moore activates against you, remove an invocation counter from each spell card in your play area. So if everything's set up, let's uh, grab our hand size of five. We have Banner's Laboratory, Limitless Strength, Adam Warlock, Call for Aid, and Lockjaw. All right, well, we're going to Mulligan Lockjaw because we can always play him from the, uh, from the discard. I don't think I need Banner's Lab. If we play out of Warlock, we could use the mental resource to deal three damage to an enemy, which is kind of good. You know, actually, I will I will hold on to these and we'll just draw one more card. We have Caliban. All right, now I've got decisions to make. Okay, we will flip up to Hulk. Now I can't decide: do I want to call for aid to search for an Avenger ally? Or do I want to play Caliban and discard cards till I get an X Force, uh, X Factor, X Force, or X Men? You know what? I will. Firstly, we'll use Limitless Strength. We'll do Caliban. So Caliban, Port of One, Attack of Two. After Caliban is played, discard cards from the top of the deck until an X Factor, X Force, or X Men ally is discarded. Add that ally to your hand. So let's start discarding cards. It goes Blade, there's one of our Avengers. There goes our other Avengers, something to bear in mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Finally, something's paid off. White Fox. After White Fox is discarded from the top of your deck, put her into play under your control. So that's great. So she comes in basically for free. There's a Digging Deep. There's another. Here they all come. I didn't shuffle this very well. Uh, there's three Digging Deeps. Wow. There we go. X-Men. Professor X. Hopefully I did that right, I didn't miss anyone. That was X-Force, X-Men, or, or X-Factor. I don't think so. But hey, look, look, at, look at Hulk's hand. Okay, so now we know we don't want to do Call for Aid because we only have two Avengers in there. I'm pretty sure we saw them both go. So, I like the idea that we are going to spend Three resources. 
let's spend three. Actually, yeah, let's spend three to put in Professor X. After Professor X uh, gets put into play, we confuse an enemy, so we'll confuse that anymore. Then we'll spend two resources to put in Banner's Lab. So in Alter Ego, we can exhaust this to generate a mental resource and we get plus two recovery. All right, let's start doing some things. I mean, we're going to thwart with Professor X because he's going to go away at the end of the phase anyway, so might as well do that. White Fox will attack for one. Caliban will attack for two. And Hulk will attack for three. So they're going to be more down to eight. And they all should get one consequential damage on them. And we'll ready up. We'll draw four cards. Gone through most of our deck already. Uh, we have Machine Man, Limit the Strength, Strength, and a Suborbital Leap. Okay, uh, we get one threat on the main scheme. Only more activates against us, so remove a counter. It's attacking us for one. We'll have Professor X block it. One plus discard one card at random from your hand. Going to be this one, which is Machine Man. That's sad. That's probably the one I want to keep. And Professor X gets knocked out. Get our encounter card. That's a fireball, which will surge. So it gets four invocation counters, and when the last one of those is removed, we deal four damage to our identity. And we got Shadow of the Past. All right. So here comes Abomination. There's Total Destruction. And, oh, don't need that. And these cards will get shuffled in. And so, Total Destruction comes with two threat. And it'll put a... Hazard icon into play. But otherwise, we're back. All right. Well, this is interesting. We'll just limit the strength. For, wait, that can be removed while abomination is in place. So we're going to attack for three, attack for two, and attack for one to knock out abomination. <laughs> we're then going to. Use our limit of strength to sub or leap to move up to five threat from a scheme. We'll take it off total destruction. And I'm tempted to actually flip down just so we can get a bit of a better card draw going on, but we probably don't really need to. Because I just kind of just want to hold on to strength, but it's fine. We'll be fine. So we're ready up. Draw four cards, which we'll deck out. There's Domino. There's another one of our cards we were looking for potentially earlier that went through our whole deck. Deck out. We've got an encounter card. Get three more cards. We have Team Training, Blade, and Hulk Smash. Okay, villain's turn. One threat in the main scheme. Goes to attack us, so I remove invocation counters. Um, we will just... Will we take it? Because we can probably use these guys to... Yeah, we'll just take it. So one, two, three, four. Clutch of Titans off the bat. Four damage. And now we get our encounter cards. So, we have a landing craft, comes in with two threat. It's going to put an acceleration icon on the play. When defeated, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion uh, engaged with the player to defeat this scheme. And the villain attacks us again. So, these will all trigger. 
So after the uh, lastification removed, we exhaust each upgrade we control, which will be, no, nope, that's a support, uh, but we get stunned. And yeah, so he's attacking us for one. We'll take it. Oh my God. Okay, so another four. That's that. Now, do we, do we just Hulk smash? I kind of want to just Hulk smash because looks like I can't, I'm stunned. So that changes everything. So we're going to attack to remove our stun. We will spend two resources for a team training. So put it down here. Actually, no, I'll put it over here so I don't get confused. I've got an attachment on Caliban. So team training. Uh, each ally you control gets plus one hit point. Uh, so Caliban is going to thwart for one off here. White Fox will thwart for another one. And when defeated, uh, discard cards from the top of the deck until the minion's discarded, put that minion into play. And it is put into play, right? Put them in the play. Yep, so not reveal. There we go. We get a black old inventory who has guard. Uh, yeah, so these guys are still around because of team training. Wait. I'm going to have used Hulk Smash to, to pay for team training. I'm going to hold on to Blade. Then I'm going to flip down. I'm going to use Banner's Lab to generate our mental resource. Put Blade into play. And that is our turn. We're ready up. We got five cards. We have a Thunderclap, Hawkeye, Call for Aid, a movable object, and Clarity of Purpose. Okay, this is not in play anymore. So we get one threat on the main scheme. Ebony more would go to activate, but he's confused, so nothing triggers here with the spells. Uh, but this guy will scheme for one. Get our encounter card. It's another fireball. And it will surge. I revealed the enemy with the highest attack, attacks the hero with that, or ally with the highest attack. First player sides. If no attack was made this way, this card gains surge. All right, so uh, Ebony Moore is going to attack either Blade or Caliban. Um, yeah, so he will attack because Hulk does, you know, Bruce and Altrius doesn't have an attack. So yeah, he'll just attack Caliban. Caliban, what's the point? He's just going to take it. Um, but because he activates against us, technically, I believe we have to resolve this. So he's attacking for one plus give him a tough status card. So he knocks Caliban out. And he gets tough. Well played. All right. So we've got our Avengers out, which, but. White Fox is here, so it's probably not worth doing the call for aid right now. Let me try and figure this out. All right. All right, we're going to spend one. Two and three to put in a movable object, giving us four hit points and retaliate for Hulk.
We're going to spend one to put in a clarity of purpose, which we are going to attach to Hulk or Bruce. So we can attach to a friendly character. Um, we can exhaust this card, deal one damage to the character and generate a wild resource. We will flip up to Hulk. We will attack the three. Onto him and White Fox will attack for another one to get rid of the Black Order uh, infantry. Uh, when defeated, give the villain a tough stats card, but he's already tough, so it doesn't matter. And that'll be our turn. We're ready up. Wait, recovered. I recovered, didn't I? And I've got that. So I should be on. No, I didn't recover. I put the removal object in play. Okay, I'll. Draw four cards. We have limitless strength, suborbital leap, strength, and lockjaw. All right. So fill the phase. We get one threat on here, pushing us to five out of six. Uh, Ebony more activates, so remove one counter from each of these. Fireball will resolve, which is deal four damage to our identity. It's not an attack, so we can't retaliate. Uh, so he's coming and attacking us for one. We'll take it. One, two, three. So we take three. We we'll retaliate for one, knock his tough off. Get our encounter card. The villain each minion engage you attacks you. Um Yes, fine. So he's attacking us for one, plus nothing, just one. We we'll retaliate on him for one. Take him down to seven. All right, we're going to spend three resources for a suborbital leap. So remove three threat from a scheme, five threat if you paid for stones using physical resources, which we did. So we clear this off. Um, we are then going to take a damage to generate a wild resource. Plus our limitless strength to play Lockjaw from our discard pile. As Lockjaw, you can play Lockjaw from your discard pile during your turn, paying his resource cost. His cost is four, which we've done. So he'll come into play. Lockjaw will attack for two. Taking any more down to five. Takes two consequential damage. Hulk's going to flip down, and we are going to recover six. Taking us up to 11. And then we will ready. Get five cards. We have Unstoppable Force, Crushing Blow, Thunderclap, Enhanced Physique, and Suborbital Leap. One threat in the main scheme. Ebony Moore goes to Scheme, which will activate his Fireball Invocation there. So he's scheming for two plus one, so three all up. Taking this to four. Get our Encounter card. It's a spell. So Manipulation comes in with two Invocation Counters. Our last one's moved. We discard one random card for hand and we get, we get confused. And then we have Blood Despair. Each minion engaged with a player activates against that player. Each player who is not engaged with minion searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a black order minion and puts them to play engaged with them. Shuffle encounter deck. All right, so what have we got that we can make short work of? Uh, it says, puts it into play. So yeah, we'll put this one into play and because it's not revealed, uh, we don't discard one random card from our hand. So it's Outrider. It's just got two health. It's fine. We will experimental research the draw a card and discard a card. Boundless Rage. I feel like I keep flipping down a lot, so I'm not going to hold on to that. Okay, we will... I'm going to take four. Do we want to? All right. 
we will recover 6, it takes up to 17. Flip up into Hulk. Uh, Lockjaw is going to thwart for 2 and get knocked out. In fact, he's not because I've got team training. He's still around. We will then we'll take a damage to generate a physical resource and use suborbital leap as another physical resource to do unstoppable force. So ready Hulk, if you paid for this using only physical resources, draw one card. Draw a card, we have digging deep. We will then We'll spend three resources for a Thunderclap. So choose up the three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. So we'll do three damage to this Outrider, which knocks him out. Three damage to Ebony Moore. Taking him down to two. Hulk will then just swing for three. Knock Ebony Moore into stage two. So stage two, he comes in with 18 hit points. Same force to interrupt, remove an invocation counter from each spell environment play when he activates. And when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell card, puts it into their play area. Let's do this. There we go. Got another, manip uh, another manipulation. We're coming with two counters. And we are done, we'll ready up. Draw four cards, have a digging deep, call for aid, call for aid, unstoppable force. Hmm. Let me just see what's in the discard. Yeah, okay, so call for aids are not the best option right now, unless I want to recycle my deck. Okay, we get one threat on the main scheme. Claw is going to attack us. We will... No, we'll just take it, maybe. We're gonna... Oh, wait. So he activates, so... We do this. So we have to resolve a fireball. We take four damage. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna take it. So he's kind of two, three, all up. Is down to nine. Down counter card. It's a spell which will surge. Uh, so Rubble Storm comes in with three. And after the last one is uh, removed, we take uh, deal two damage to each character we control. And the villain attacks us. This is not going to go well then. All right, so these will all trigger. So we discard one random card from our hand. That one and that one. And then these both confuse us. And then he was attacking, yes, as assault, yep. So he's attacking for two. Does this change what I want to try and do now? Uh, possibly. No, I'll just take it two. Hitting us for five. He's down to four. But we're through that. Okay. So we're going to attack with blade and use a digging deep as a physical resource so that he stays around. So he's going to hit for two. 
Uh, Lockjaw is going to also hit for two and get knocked out. We're going to flip down. We will experimental research the draw card, discard a card with a deaf focus. We will exhaust Banner's Lab to put Death Focus into play. So we can exhaust Death Focus to reduce the cost of a superpower, superpower card we play. We will recover for four, sorry, six, I should say. And we're all ready. Get five cards. Professor X, Machine Man, Adam Warlock, Digging Deep in an Energy. Okay, we get one throughout the main scheme. Annual activates, so remove that. He's scheming for two plus, plus three, which is going to push the main scheme. So we have the Power Stone revealed. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell is discarded and put into play. So there we go, it's a fireball. And this will go over. So Power Stone threats out at nine, comes in with one, and still goes up one every round. Fireball comes in with four invocation counters. Get our encounter card. Reactor overload. So we get a crisis icon. So we can't move threat from here. And revealed each player must choose to either take two damage or place two threat here. Um, you know what? I'm just going to throw five threat on that. Because I think we just want to try and figure out a way to, to punch. <laughs> okay. We use our experiment to research the draw a card, discard a card, limit the stamina. Yeah, we'll um, do that. We'll throw away Professor X. We'll flip up into Hulk. Wait, no, while we're down. While we're down, we'll use Banner's Lab, Giant Resource, uh, plus Adam Warlock to put in Machine Man. We're then going to, then we're going to flip up to Hulk. Hulk is going to attack for three. Get even more down to 11. We are going to use Digging Deep for a Limitless Stamina to Ready Hulk and then attack for another three. So get any more, any more down to eight. We are going to attack with Machine Man. When Machine Man attacks or thwarts, you can spend up to three resources of any type. Uh, Machine Man gets plus one thwart and plus one attack for each resource spent this way. So we're going to do that. We're also going to use, uh, should be exhausting that. Um, using our clarity of purpose to give him plus three to his attack. So one, two, and three. Because of any type, you don't have to spend it from our hand. So Machine Man's going to hit for four. Takes one consequential damage. Uh, do we keep Blade around just to? Well, I mean, because he'll take two damage, so he'll be, he'll still be, like, around next round. Even from that, Machine Man won't. No, Machine Man will because of team training. Um. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take it back. I can use Death Focus for my limitless stamina. 
which means I don't need to exhaust creative purpose for the extra resource for Machine Man. So, so that's good. Um, so I'm still on 10 health there. No, I think we keep Blade around. It's either we do two damage now, two damage later potentially, but like. And if I keep him around, he can block if things get hairy. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep him around. So we're ready up. We'll get four cards. Uh, we have Crushing Blow, Heli Carrier, Limitless Stamina, and Limitless Strength. So as long as we get through this, we should win. We get one throughout the main scheme. Ebony Moore activates, triggers these. So Rubble Storm, deal two damage to each character we control. So Blade takes two. Machine Man takes two, but he is still around because of team training. Uh, Ebony Moore is going to attack. We are actually just going to defend with Machine Man. So two, three, four, five. Machine Man gets knocked out. Get our encounter card. Oh, Black Order Inventory of Guard. And when he's defeated, he gives the villain a tough stats card. Let's see how we can try and mitigate this then. All right. We will. We'll take a damage for a crushing blow. Let's try a physical resource for a crushing blow. Do a damage equal to our attack. Put three on him. Blade is then going to attack to knock this guy out. Just going to put a tough on Ebony Moore. We will use. Oh. Could keep Blade around again. No, it's fine. We're going to use Death Focus. Oh, wait, sorry. First, we're going to attack with Hulk for three. Let's knock off the tough. Then we'll Death Focus to limit the stamina to Ready Hulk and then attack for another three. And we're down to one. We'll use Elements Stamina to put in a heli carrier. But we're going to be fine because we're about to win on Retaliate. So we'll ready up. Draw four cards, get two more, get an encounter card. Two more cards, Enhanced Physique, Hulk Smashes, <laughs> both our Hulk Smashes. All right. One threat in the main scheme. Avenue activates, Invocation counter goes away there. Hulk will defend. It's coming in for two plus three, four. We take one because we defended, and then we retaliate for one, defeating Ebony Moore. Uh, so there you have it. Once more, Hulk, strongest one there is. The deck was interesting. It was kind of fun in that first round getting all those allies out with the, the digging deep. I didn't quite get the setup going again for a few more um, because they were in the discard pile with how quickly we went through the deck. But that was um, that was fun. Kind of silly, but very fun. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.